Hi guys, my name is Noshad and welcome to the Learn MVC. This is our 17th lecture and in this lecture you can see what is the MV, uh, what is the update model and try update model and also what is the difference between update model and try update model. So basically update model whenever you require to update your customer uh, sorry update your model object and whatever you require to fill a data uh, fill your model object to the data of which is sended by the form which is sended by the form with using method of post so i'll i'll show in the i'll show in the practical so it's very easy i just remove that customer object you can see this is our project we are we had done to create in our previous lectures right so i just remove that customer object here and i can create one object here customer call here one method update the model and just pass that customer here customer. just simple just save this one and you can see uh, here first you can build this application because I expect one error here let's see this error is called create with the same parameter type that means you can see here we have a two method here we have two action one is create and the another is also create the name is same and uh, there is no any parameter also so I need to change the name of the action is the I will just put here uh, add customer I just change the name add customer but uh, you can see here I have called here when I click on submit button that time I need to call the which action create action so I don't need to change here I, I don't want to change here so suppose you don't want to change here that time you need to be the decorate action your action with the attribute of action name you can see I decorate here my action with the name of action name attribute and pass the attribute name here so I can pass here simple right that's it now you can run your application now just call here customer see now you look at here I just pass the data anything right meaning can see they will fill the customer objects with the control data you can see right and they will store the data in the database you can see that is very simple right so now I do one change is here. I'm just click on add customer and and look at here. I don't want to pass any data from the control and just click on save data. That time you can see it's given me the error here. Which error you can see here the just run the application uh, just a minute just, uh, just stop the application 
שאני לא מבין. Now just call the customers and the create action. And I don't want to pass any data here and just click on save data. Let's do the step over here, call the update model. Uh, the other things also we need to do here I'm just going to the model folder and uh, I will decorate my property with the required attribute here. required yes. you can just save load and run the application Save data. Let's do the step over here. And you can see I expecting one error here, and the error is you can see here the model of type form connection example dot models dot customer could not be updated because the my control data is empty and they are trying to bind a data with the property that time it's finding a control data is null. That's why is given me the that's why is exception. This is given the exception and the exception is could not be updated, right? Because I'm using here update model. Which one? But suppose I am using here try update model. Which one? Try update model. That time you can see here. The save and run. And look at here I didn't pass any data and just click on save data now you can see they didn't give me any error right and underscore o customer you can see the underscore customer there's a passing a data as a null right and just do the step over and they given me the error invalid exception property mode it is the exception system that entry valid exception db entry valid exception occur entry framework was not be handled the user code additional information validation fail right this is because we, my data is not that size given the error but the our main concept is here what is the difference between update model and try update model you can see also the data in sql server my data is already added you can see here my data is already added but the all data is done with using try update model with using try update model so it's very simple here to understand uh, update model when uh, your control data update model when you use update model and you can find when you use update model you can try to bind your data with the object of the customer model that time suppose the finding any data is null that time is throwing the exceptions but suppose you are using a try update model that time they didn't throw any exception and they will accept all null value and pass to the your property so it's very simple update model and try update model uh, update model and try update model if you want to use update model then you can use update model if you want to use try update model you can use a try update model if you want to accept any null data then you can use the try update model if you don't want to accept any null data you can use the update mode. So it's very easy to use update mode and tablet mode in ESP.NET MVC. 
uh, I hope you uh, understand the update mode and type update mode and how to use update mode and type update mode. If you want a query, you can just send me the mail. And if you want to chat with me, my Skype ID is available on the my channel. You can chat with me. Thank you for the watching this video.